You and I till the end Don't need to pretend Again and again We'll stick together Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as my friends over at Joanne.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today we're going to focus on gauge. This is a preliminary video before the stitch along begins so that you can get prepared. We're going to talk quickly about the yarn. We are going to do a gauge check. So the yarn of choice is going to be Karen 1 pound and also Karen Jumbo. Let's take a look at that. So let's take a look at the yarn. We need Karen 1 pound. We need two balls here of the off white. We need two balls here of Karen Jumbo in Ombre. This is called Lake Mist for this particular color. And then finally this color is just one ball of the Karen Jumbo Ombre in the color of Sunset. So we have off white, Lake Mist and Sunset and together they make that amazing afghan. Let's go back to the pattern now. So right here is the gauge. It's 12 single crochets by 13 rows using the 5 millimeter size H crochet hook. So what I wanted to do is run a gauge check in order to make sure that, that my hook that they're recommending is going to match. So if my sample is not the same size that it should be it will allow me to change my hook now so that when we begin our project you're gonna get yourself started off on the right foot by having the right size hook because everybody's tension is obviously slightly different. So let's do a gauge check. To do a gauge check it says 12 single crochets by 13 rows. So what I want to do is that I want to create a few extra stitches so that if there is a size difference I'll be able to count the number of stitches that it's different by. So what I'm going to do is that I'm gonna add three more additional stitches to this. So I'm gonna say 13, 14 and 15. So if I want 15 single crochets across I need to chain a total of 16 to start so that I can end up with my 15. So let's try that. So let's begin with our hook and yarn now. Now you don't have to waste your yarn. So whatever you do here you can just uh, pull it out. It's called frogging to rip it out, rip it, rip it. So we're going to begin and I told you we want to chain 16. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and 16. So now that we have the 16 on here what I want to do is begin row number one. To begin row number one I want you to go second chain from the hook. I always go in the back hump of a chain unless I tell you otherwise and I just want to single crochet myself all the way across your chain. So by you chaining 16 this will give you a total of 15 single crochets across because the fact is that you went second chain from the hook so therefore you skipped over one of the chains. So that's how that works. So go all the way across. I'll meet you on the other side. Once you're all the way across you're gonna turn your work and now every row now until approximately four inches tall is going to be the same. So you'll chain with one and you'll apply one single crochet into each stitch all the way across. So I'll meet you on the other side of this row. This is row number two and then we'll talk about the remaining of the swatch. So I'm coming all the way to the other side. So what I need you to do is keep going back and forth until you get approximately four inches tall. So grabbing your tape measure that you have just literally just measure up and go to approximately four inches on the measuring tape and then meet me back here in just a moment. So keep going back and forth on your rows until approximately four inches and then we'll take a measurement. Just a quick little tip. What I do behind the scenes is that I'm just crocheting until I get to the four inches. I just lay down a measuring tape in front of me and I can just quickly just check. So I'm checking the height once in a while so I just kind of lie it down and actually now it's four and a half inches so now I can stop. So that's what I would do uh, normally and I'll be right back in a moment as we take our measurements. So now I have approximately four and a half inches. I just took a measurement of that to make sure that I have four inches to play with. I wanna check the gauge and the width and all I need to do is count the number of single crochets that appear between zero and four. So you're just gonna count across. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. The gauge said that it was 12 single crochets. This means that for me in my tension and my style that the hook size that they're recommending is spot on. Now let's just say that you had 13 stitches instead of 12 or you had 14. It means that you'd be, you're a little tight. So if it's way off then what I would strongly recommend to you is that you need to frog this out to rip it, rip it and then retry this with a larger crochet hook. Just go up one size and then just retest it to make sure and then you can then check the height after that. 
if you have like 10 stitches across instead of 12 it means that your hook size is too big for the tension that you have in your hands. So you'll wanna decrease your hook. So go down one size, retry again. Your goal is, is to match the stitch work with the designer and the designer's tension is this. So it's the only way to do it. So some of us may be using a five millimeter but some of us could be using a five and a half millimeter size I or even as big as a size J six millimeter in order to get their sizes or they could have gone down to a four and a half or US seven as well. So now we're gonna check the, the height. So if the width is not right and you have too many stitches or not enough it means that your height is gonna be factored in as well. And so you're going to measure the amount of stitch, uh, stitches that you have in between a four inch span. So we're gonna start with this one here. One, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. And I have a little bit of the fourteenth here. So this means that my, my gauge is right. So if I were you and you were me, concentrate on the width as being your most strongest factor because if the width is not proper with the number of stitches between the four, the height is not gonna match as either. So that's what we want to do. Once you have that confirmed, just write that down on a sp spare piece of paper or whatever you're working with and then you know the hook size to begin with week number one and you can start immediately when the pattern rolls on out. So until next time, it's Mikey on behalf of my friends over at joanne.com as well as us here at the Crochet Crab. We'll see you again real soon. Bye bye.